boys and girls, it is time for the letter Y. I know we just did an alphabet book page yesterday, but remember for two letters this week, we need to get the letter Y done too. And so you need your alphabet book. You need to find your Y page. You probably need crayons or markers or whatever you want to color with and you need a pencil. And so gather your things and we're going to read our alphabet book and then we're going to work on our alphabet worksheet. So we're going to get started. Here we go. The letter Y. What do you think that guy is? Is a yak? Let's read. It says, let's explore the letter Y. Uppercase Y looks like this. Lowercase Y looks like this. And I'm super excited to talk about lowercase Y with a lot of you because I have a lot of friends that have lowercase Y in their name. I think Avery in the afternoon class and Wyatt, O'Grady, Blakely, Skyler, Izzy. I think there's probably more of you. I probably forgot somebody's story, but there's a lot of you. So Y is an important letter for you to really think about this week um, with if you have a lowercase Y in your name. And if I forgot you, I'm sorry. I know there are so many of you to remember all of you at once, but so pay attention for lowercase Y, okay? The letter Y can start with many words like yak. Oh, that's that guy on the front of the book right there. How about yogurt? I had yogurt with blueberries in it. That was pretty good. How about yes, the word yes yard or a yo-yo. I like those yo-yos. The letter Y can be inside of a word like hyena. Have you ever watched The Lion King? I don't like the hyenas in The Lion King. They're kind of silly, but they're not always the nicest. How about lynx or gym? Cycle or kayak? Now cycle, we've been talking about the life cycle of things. And um, we talked about robins. We talked about butterflies. Um, and did Mrs. Smith read you a book about frogs and their life cycle? So the word cycle has a Y in it right there, just like the things we've been learning about. The letter Y can be at the end of a word, like the word city or pony or fly or May, which is after April, May or sky. Those all have a Y at the end. Many uppercase names start with the letter Y, like Yvonne. How about Yan? Yan is loud. How about Yvette? Yvette likes to talk. Yale, Yale is blue. Or Yolanda, Yolanda can surf. I have never stood up on a surfboard, guys. I've laid down on my tummy in the ocean, but never standing on a surfboard. Have you? I think it looks like it might be fun. The letter Y makes many sounds like yam and puppy. The letter Y makes the Y sound in yam. You hear that? Yeah, yeah, yam. The letter Y makes the long E sound in puppy. We talk more about the Y sound when we say yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what we talk about. And remember, letters make different sounds. And in preschool, we usually learn the first sound. And then you learn more in kindergarten as you start to put those letters into words to read. The letter Y makes the Y sound in many words like yum, young, years, your, and you. And we're going to skip to our silly story. Um, many young yaks cycle and kayak in May. In January, they play in the yard. Yogurt is a yummy snack for young yaks. Young yaks always say yes to yogurt. It's kind of a tongue twister. Puppy would rather stay in the yellow house all day. Puppy looks very happy. All right. The alphabet has how many letters? 26. You guys know that. Y is the 25th letter. Guys, we're almost done with the alphabet. Let's count and see. Here we go. Oh, two tall. Switch. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. Pat yourself on the back if you counted with me. That was a good job. Now we need to say the letters and the sound they make. And I know for some of you, this part is like, oh, Mrs. Bishop, why are we doing this again? Guess what? We're almost done. We almost should know the sound of every letter in the alphabet. 
that sound, that first one we're going to learn. So when we go to kindergarten and we start to learn the other sounds, what do you do? You put those sounds together, it makes words, and then you can read. And I know that some of you have started to find those sight words we talked about a little bit, it and he and she and those things too. You've started to see those in different books you read. And that's why you need to know these sounds. So when we do this together, could you please do it with me and make the sounds and remember them in your head so that they're stuck up there for a long time. Okay. A, the letter A, 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 B, the letter B, 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 C. The letter C, K, 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 D. The letter D, 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 D. E, the letter E, 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 E. F, the letter F, 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 F. G, the letter G, 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 G. H, the letter H, 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 H. I, the letter I, 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 I. J, the letter J, 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 K. The letter K, 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 K. L. The letter L, O, O, O. M. The letter M, 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 like munch. N. The letter N, 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 N. O. The letter O, 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 O. P. The letter P, 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 P. Q. The letter Q, qua, qua, qua. R, the letter R, er, er, er. S, the letter S, 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 s. T, the letter T, 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 t. U, the letter U, a, a, a. V, the letter V, 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 v. W, the letter W, wa, wa, wa. X, the letter X. We learned that one yesterday, and today is Y. The letter Y. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like you're yawning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nicely done, friends. Now, what we need to do is get your alphabet book out. And I have my worksheet here about the letter Y. I did uppercase and lowercase. I colored them very nicely. And yarn, and the yarn is kind of wrapped around the Y. You need to write your name, color, and get a pencil. I'm going to show you, I'm going to get closer here because the letter Y uppercase goes one, two, three. Do you see how it does that? A little bit tricky to do it that way. Let's watch again. One, two, three. Think you can do that? Let's try it one more time. One, two, three. I think you can do that. Lowercase y is also tricky. Remember, some of our letters go under the ground. And lowercase y starts with the short line first. Can you say it with me? The short line first. And it goes from the fence to the grass down. It slides down the mountain. Then you pick up your pencil and then you leave that gap, just like with x. You leave that gap and then you slide under the ground. Do you see that? And a lot of you who have this letter in your name, we haven't practiced it a lot. I've tried to help you review, but it's at the end of the alphabet. So if you have a Y in your name, you really need to watch how you do this. So I want you to color and trace and trace. Turn over your paper. Do uppercase Ys, lowercase Ys, and your name. And if you need a grown-up to write those first two, that's okay. I always do that for you at school. I make the first one so that you know what it looks like. I always do it for you. And then write your name. And today I drew a yo-yo, just like the one Gavin let me borrow. I drew a big splotch of yellow paint. So I just made it scribbled in a big circle there, like yellow paint. And I drew this cupcake with a candle and I wrote yum beside it because, oh, cupcakes are so yummy, you guys. So you're gonna do the front of your page, your name, your coloring, your tracing. You're gonna do the back of your page uppercase, lowercase, and your name. And remember, if you know your first name and you do a really good job at it, start working on your last name. And all of you have tracer sheets with your last name on them. So you can look at those to write your last name if your grownups are busy. And then you can draw Y pictures. Before we go, I'm going to show you on the board real quick how we do this, because I want you guys to really work, to really work on your letter Ys. Now, uppercase Y starts at this guy. And it goes from the sky to the fence and it slides down and you pick up that pencil. And then you leave a gap and you go from the sky to the fence and you pick up your pencil. One, 
two. What's the third line? It goes right here in the middle. It goes straight down. Now it might take a little practice, but that's okay. That's what we do. We're faithful and we stick with it and we practice, don't we? Now, lowercase y. This is what a lot of you need to watch. The short line is first. And it starts at the fence and it goes to the grass. Do you see that? That's your first line. Then you leave that space in between. So I leave a space right here. I put my pencil there and I slide all the way under the ground. Did I make a straight, 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 straight line? It's a slanted line. It slides under the ground. So you probably need to work on those a little bit extra if you have a Y in your name today. Maybe instead of making four, maybe you should make five or six different Ys on this one right here. So if you have a Y in your name, I want you to work really extra hard at that to make sure that Y looks like it's supposed to. A lot of you have fixed your Ys over the year um, and we have talked about it and you've gone back and erased and fixed it and made it the right way. Just make sure you're doing it that way every time for me, okay? I know that two alphabet pages is a lot of alphabet to do for one week, but I think you guys can do it. Be faithful, stick with it, and do your best for me, okay?